When gardeners choose plants for their landscape, they often have something particular in mind for what they want that plant to do. And depending on your gardening style, you may want those plants to stay put in a simple space, nice tidy little plants, or you may just want them to run and do whatever they want to do. We're going to take a look today at a combination of plants that have become overly enthusiastic in our rain chain, in our courtyard, and I'm concentrating on perennials and a couple of annuals. What we have happening is enthusiasm on the part of the plants, starting with the genetics of the beast, how does it actually reproduce? So we're talking about plants that spread by seed, plants that run either by stolons or rhizomes, and then that combination of plants that can do both of those different things. So perfect example here is one of the annuals, this is Larkspur, beautiful plant in flower, started from one plant two years ago, has seeded itself almost all the way around one of our uh, gardens in our rain chain. People love milkweed, we love milkweed. This is one that really is ubiquitous in terms of coming up in all sorts of spaces. So depending on what you're after, you're going to have to watch these plants very carefully. Liatris has done the same thing. It's a beautiful plant, not necessarily all over the place because what can also happen with perennials and annuals that really want to take over the world is if they are stronger, more aggressive, they can displace some of those other plants you want and then you end up without the variety or the diversity in your landscape that you may be after. A handful of our penstemons have done the same thing. And again, some of them need to reseed themselves so they will remain in the landscape. But one of the ones that really has shown uh, its true colors is a handful of the sedges. Palm sedge in particular has become very, very happy in many places, including all the way up at the top of the hill where we didn't plant it. So take a look at what you've got, watch it, especially as our weather changes, our environment changes, as your soil improves, as your management techniques change, and make sure plants that you don't want to escape and seed or run all over the place are staying where you want them.